You can protect your data in Excel. You can protect your entire workbook. If anybody will open it, it will ask for the password. If you don't want to protect your entire workbook, you can protect your sheets. You can also protect your cells or ranges inside your sheet. So in this tutorial, we will cover the everything about the Excel protection. So let's get started. Before we start, do you know why it is important and sometimes required to protect the data? Let's say you have created a report like this and now you are sharing your file with your colleagues or to your team or to your boss and you don't want anyone to mess up with your report and data. So do make sure that nobody should be able to change or edit anything here. You need to protect it. Let's see how. At the top you have a review tab. Here you have options to protect sheets and workbook. Let's click on protect sheet. This pop-up box will ask for the password. Give it a password which is easy to remember. Because in Excel there is no option of doing forget password. I want to repeat it. There is no option in the Excel of doing forget password. So write down your password somewhere or give it a password which is very easy to remember. Now this checkbox at the top says protect the worksheet and content of logged cells and by default all the cells are logged in Excel. So this step is going to protect all the cells of this sheet. Now in the bottom you have multiple options to choose for like you can allow the user to select cells format cells, columns, rows, insert or delete the columns and most of the times the top two checkboxes will be required which allows your user to only select the cells which means the user can select the data, copy it and paste it somewhere else but cannot do anything in this sheet. Also providing password here is not mandatory, you can leave it blank and can proceed with sheet protection. As of now, let's provide a password which is a good practice. So I'm giving a password 123 which is easy to remember. Click OK, re-enter password and then click OK again. At the top here, the name has changed to unprotect sheet. Now my sheet is protected and if I will do double click here and uh, if I will try to edit any cell, it won't allow me to do so and it will throw me a warning. The warning is uh, you should unprotect the sheet first before you do anything here. Now I can select the cells but I cannot do anything else. To unprotect the sheet, click here unprotect sheet, give it the password and click OK. Now the file is unprotected and you can do everything here. Let's see one scenario where you don't want to protect your complete sheet but only some cells inside this sheet. For example, I have some data here and I want to protect only this set of cells, only this range. So user can do anything with the rest of the cells in this sheet but should not be able to play with this data. So to do this, select all the cells of this sheet. You can click on this triangle icon at the left. This way you can select all the cells in one go of your sheet. Right mouse click, format cells, go to protection and uncheck this box logged. So what we did right now is we just unlogged all the cells of this sheet. Now what we will do is as my all the cells are unlocked, we will now lock those cells which we want to protect. So select this range which you want to protect, right mouse click, format cells, go to protection and now check this box to lock these cells. So as I said before, all the cells in Excel are locked by default. So to protect a specific set of cells, you first need to unlock all of them and then lock only those cells which you want to protect. Click OK. Now go to review protect sheet, give a password, re-enter password, click OK. Now these cells are protected and let me try to edit these cells and it is throwing a warning message of unprotecting it. I can do edits in rest of the cells but not able to do anything here. 
This is how you can protect some specific cells only within your sheet. Now let's see how you can protect your workbook structure. This is very similar to what we have seen. Go to review, click on protect workbook. So what this will do is it will keep users from making structural changes to your workbook like moving your sheets, deleting your sheets or adding your sheets. Give it a password, click OK. Now this workbook is protected. If I want to add or delete or hide, unhide, I can do nothing on these sheets or I cannot do any structural changes in this workbook. So this way you can protect the, your workbook structure. There is one more way of protecting your workbook. Go to file, click info. Here you have a button protect workbook. Here you have multiple options. You can go to encrypt with password. This option will ask the user to provide a password to open the file. You can protect the current sheet and workbook structure also from here. Let's click on encrypt with password. Provide your password. And like I said, write down your password or uh, provide a password which is easy to remember because there is no option of doing forget password in the Excel. Close your file. We will then reopen it and provide a password, the same password which we have provided. And now we are able to open the workbook. One thing I want to tell you is Excel security features is not very strong. If you protect something by using a password, there are many ways in which the password can be cracked and your file will then be unprotected. So be sure that you know exactly what you are doing and you are not sharing any confidential data by using Excel inbuilt protection because this is not very strong. This is all about the protection of Excel. If you enjoyed this video and liked it, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Happy learning and take care.